Let's turn to business news now with Madison Reedy, who is here and is on camera beside me in the studio. Uh, A2 Milk and Fonterra joining forces. Um, what's all this mean, Madison? What will this look like? What's going to happen? It will look like Anchor Milk sold in New World and Packensays in the North Island. So this all came out uh, in regards to a deal that was signed uh, between A2 Milk and Fonterra. So A2 Milk milk will be sold under the Anchor brand. So this is the old adage, if you can't beat them, join them, right? And A2 just took off like a rocket. They did, but the rocket slightly come back down to earth since then. So that was in May. A2 did have, it became the biggest listed company on the NZX, you know, out of nowhere yeah, almost. Nuts. Just a yeah. small company and quite a few people doubted it too. So if people don't actually know what A2 does, it, it creates milk without the A1 protein. So cows that are milked for dairy, they have both the A1 and the A2 protein. So A2 only uses the milk uh, yeah. from the A2 cows. And uh, in December, Fonterra and A2 actually signed a strategic relationship deal, which was before A2 even hit its highest share price of $14 in May. That was when it hit peak and became you know, the largest company out there. I, I had a sense at first that Fonterra were kind of t turning away and pretending it wasn't happening, you know, like fighting siblings That's or something. That's what they wanted you to think. Yeah, right, OK. <laughs> but boy, oh boy, they've... Uh... So this is a kind of formal embrace, isn't it? Exactly, yeah, it absolutely is. And, I mean, the con th they've come out and said, you know, the, the consumer demand is there. So, I mean, you're right, if, if you can't beat them, why not, why not join them? It will be expensive, though. So compared to your blue top milk, which has the A1 and A2 protein, that is about two litres. It's been reported that's about average for an anchor blue top two litre milk. That's $4.57. The A2 milk version will be $6.83. But it's Where easier to digest. Shop? Where do you shop getting anchors two litres for... $4.57, Madison. And anyway, it's all come yeah, prices, yeah, right? Okay. Inflation. Well, no, I've got it. It's more. It's normally five bucks or whatever. Anyway, right. Okay, so that, so we're paying a buck fifty or two bucks more for A2, the two letters. And the reason for that, it's obviously a, a, the manufacturing process has a lot more to it uh, and also the distribution too uh, and obviously a particular type of cow, uh, which Fonterra farmers are now going to start identifying as well. So that's all part of the deal. It's fascinating this business, isn't it, dairy farming? Right, uh, Donald Trump has pleased New Zealand business people today. What happened? He signed his signature on a pretty piece of paper, which was called the Kiwi Act. And the Kiwi Act stands for Knowledgeable Innovators and Worthy Investors Act. And basically what that all comes down to is that New Zealand business people and investors, if they want to go over to the US and trade and do business and, you know, t take money in there, uh, they are eligible, eligible for an E1 trading visa and an E2 investor visa. So that means that New Zealand business people and investors can go in and out under this visa, in and out of the United States as much as they like within two years. And they can then also renew that visa after two years. So imagine you're an entrepreneur that is, you know, travelling in and business. out of the United Absolutely. States. Imagine previously if you had to sign or uh, get a visa every single time you wanted to enter into the United States, it would have been a headache. So now they are free to walk in and out as they please, only to do business though. Right. Thank you, Madison. What happened on the markets today? Uh, the markets, uh, we closed down only 0.1 of a percent, so that's nine points to close at 8.849. The New Zealand dollar is buying at 67.8 US cents, 91.8 Australian and 51.7 British pence. Madison Reedy, thank you.